Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We are on our way to church, um, but I, I had to like, I had to make my clip right now because we just passed fields that have been harvested and in the place of the corn or beans or whatever used to be there are geese. Like, it almost looks like the, the field is growing geese because there are so many geese and they're, you know, gleaning all of the, the stuff that's left over. But yeah, true sign of the changing of the seasons. I did last night whenever we got home, when I got home with Gabriel, there were tons of geese flying, flying over um, in formation. And so I'm thinking, oh yeah, it's gonna be time for all of the birds to do their thing. Um, so probably in a few weeks, we're gonna start hearing the sandhill cranes because that's it's usually in November, like right before Thanksgiving. All right, we survived. We survived uh, church. I survived singing uh, my song. Wow, my lips. I I swear they don't actually look that bright red like in person. They look weird on camera. Um, but looks like there's something happening over here on the back. Getting the pumpkins carved. Um, it's funny. Hi, hi. But um, the funny thing that has just occurred is uh, Julian, <laughs> Julian, well, Julian just went to practice. Uh Oh, did you forget? Forgot your water. He is on his way to practice. Um, and Ethan is up on set. Horatio is talking to the mom of the girl that is Ethan's sister. And we have discovered that she is friends with Julian. And <laughs> she lives like probably 15 minutes away from us and has mutual friends. Well, she's, I mean, she's friends with Julian. And so she just sent Julian a picture of Ethan on his Instagram. So it's just, I don't know. It's funny. It's really funny. And I love, one of the things that I love the most about what we are involved in, what the boys are involved in, are the connections. And like making making the connections with people that we might already know. Like Ethan and Horatio are at this set. It's for, um, it's for a documentary. And so um, they're just there and he got put with this girl and they don't, they don't know them, but then come to find out we, we actually kind of know who they are. <laughs> so, but, but they recently moved to this area and, um, so they're trying to get involved in things. And so of course here I am going, man, I wish I was up on that set because I, I love, I love doing that. That's one of the things that I love I love helping people find uh, their community. You know, I, even if it's not like part of my community, I like helping people find where they belong because they, they recently moved here. And so, um, and I know if Angela is watching, she, <laughs> I, I tried to help her whenever she moved to the area, but, um, yeah, um, I'm, I'm over here like texting Horatio and they're actually texts coming in like bloop bloop as I'm filming this and I'm probably going to be meeting them I hope like I know that I'm going to be on set on Tuesday oh he keeps texting me I better check these Mima's making a star for an eye it's like a kiss eye one of the members of kids has a weird star in his eye yeah we are going to head out and see if the uh, optometrist part of the Walmart where we got his glasses is open because uh, Horatio tried to go and pick up his glasses last week at the same time we went there two weeks ago or whenever it was three was it two weeks ago I don't know and because they were there they said they're here come pick them up and he went there and they weren't open <laughs> so I'm trying again today. If you're wondering why I'm so tired right now. <laughs> I'm sure they were wondering. Because, yeah, because we're going to have something really sudden. My hair's all messed up. But 
So, um, I finished working very hard. Yes, even on my day off. Yeah, so I carved, <laughs> we finished carving pumpkins. So I already carved my pumpkin a while ago. Mima got three. It's just that Julian and Ethan didn't really want to. And teenagers. So, so she got to carve one, even though she didn't think she would. And whenever I already carved mine, we both carved one. We like got half of a face and we set them out. And then we came back to clean our stuff up that we were carving. And then we realized that we should probably tear out the garden. And then we got everything out. And then once we were bringing everything back in, we realized that we should probably take <laughs> we should probably take down the cafe. So uh, we did that. Yeah. Winterizing, all of the winterizing because winter is coming, right? Yes. Yes. We're leaving the strawberries there though to see if they'll actually. Well, they, they grew two years in a row. Like, you guys didn't plant them this year, right? Yeah, we didn't. They just they just came back. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, um, we're going to go get gas because I am pretty much on E. <laughs> um, and I heard that gas is cheap at a local BP station. So I'm going to see if, see if the gas has run out. Um, and then go see about these glasses and then pick up Julian from his rehearsal and then yeah this is a very long clip <laughs> Ooh, there are ghosts on our door Ooh, they're hanging on our porch ah. <laughs> we are taking a walk it is misty outside and it almost just feels like humidity in the air. It's really weird, but I don't mind. Oh, it's officially raining now. Ugh. Final clip. Yep, um, there is a wrestling match happening over there. Um, it is bedtime. Sometime Sometimes there are wrestling matches that happen here, as you know. Um, <sighs> tomorrow is Halloween. And um, I think we have our plan for tomorrow night or, you know, afternoon slash evening. Uh, we've never trick-or-treated in this neighborhood where we live. We've lived here, you know, going on two years, and we've never trick-or-treated here because we always go hang out with our friends. Um, so I think that we're going to trick-or-treat here and for an hour, and then we're going to take Gabriel over to his friends and trick-or-treat with him. Um, but yeah, that is what's happening tomorrow, and I am very tired. And I'm also just very excited about the day that we had today and like all the interesting uh, connections that were made on set where Ethan was. And I'm excited because I'm gonna be going to that set on Tuesday and um, I'll be ready to, to meet the people that he <laughs> worked with. So until tomorrow. <laughs>